Hey everyone and welcome back to Neo. On this video we're going to be doing the submission, A Cursed Doppelganger. This one is level 172 with a difficulty of 5. The rewards are a divine piece of heavy armor and 5 highest quality wood. And before we get started here, I want to go and change my guardian spirit back to Inko. Blue Dragon is cool, does a lot of damage, but my preference is Inko. Many thanks for your help in Tono. Actually, I have a favor to ask. You see, there are soldiers who claim to have witnessed me transform into a demon and begin rampaging around Tono. But since you defeated me, not only have I not set foot in those parts, those powers have long since left me. If these soldiers speak the truth, then the only possible explanation is that the spirit stones have caused some kind of yokai abnormality, which means I am responsible. I am embarrassed to ask this of you, Anjan, but would you go in my stead and investigate the matter? Okay, so this is just another fight with his yokai version. I don't think it's any different than it was on the mission. Um, but he might be a little stronger? I'm not sure, but anyways, it's, it functions the same. He just might be a little tougher. Um, so, I would like to beat him without the living weapon if I can. He's a really tough boss, at least for me. Um, so, I kind of want to dance around with him and see if I can handle him without the living weapon, because the living weapon just utterly destroys him. At least with the Odachi, and at least with Inko. So, uh, that's my last resort. I'm gonna try to take him without it. But if I need it, I'll bust it out and take him out. Because it'll essentially take him from 100 to nothing. Or at least close to it. Alright, so I think I'm all set. Got my power pills, my lightning amulets, my protection, sloth. Weakness and the quick change. So let's put the quick change up. Lightning, power pill, protection, and we'll start off with slothing them. So put a sloth on and weakness. Let's do it. Oh my god. Well, apparently Tiger's Blade was a bad idea because it got me hit really bad. So no, ow! See, his moves are just so awkward. They're really hard for me to telegraph. And I blocked that, but he broke me. Nope. Oh my god. Alright, screw it. I don't know why I suck at fighting this boss, but we're just gonna living weapon him. This should almost kill him. Living weapon is so strong against him. Although, if I keep missing like that, it's not gonna quite work as well. Alright, well, apparently I... Got to finish him off a, li a little bit. Block that. Lightning, power pill. Protection, watch out. Sloth him up. Weakness. Alright, can I at least dance with you for a little bit? Alright, what are you going to do next? Ah, it's a flurry. There's a break after this one. So I can get in there. Oh! Ha <laughs> I finished it with style. Alright, well, not quite. I cannot die yet, even if it means becoming a demon. Becoming a demon for the sake of one's master. There is something admirable about that. Still, turning one's back on morality can only lead to disorder. Okay, well, not quite how I wanted to do it. Living Weapon took out, like, I don't know, 40-50% of his health, if not more, but... Still got some decent exchanges in there with him. If I practiced more, I could probably get better, but... With the limited amount I've played around with him, it's just, he's really weird and awkward for me. I don't know. That super long, like, centipede arm just throws me off. So it was true. It was me. I must admit, just prior to your return, I felt as if whatever had laid heavy on my soul did so no longer. When you say you defeated that demon, or should I say me, this begins to make sense. 
It would appear some vestiges of those demonic powers still laid nestled within me, but broke free to materialize in this plane as a specter of some kind. I dread to think what may have transpired had that creature been left to its own devices. I am forever in your debt, Sir Anjan. Alright, did we get anything good? Didn't really get any weapons. We got rogue armor. Is that any good? No. No, it's not. Warlord armor. Maybe. Life, Earth, Yokai Realm, and Red Earn from people. Nah, not that great. It is plus one, though. I can upgrade my pants, which I think I'll do. And that's it. So let's just do uh, a soul match and break the rest of the stuff. The armor. Give me those pants. Break those pants. 76,000 gold. Let's do it. And no new patronage points. She is stingy. Uh, let's see. Break that. That. This time I'm not gonna break an awesome set piece. That was dumb. Broke one of those Master Swordsman sets. Oh, wait. Did I get some accessories? I forget. I didn't. Okay. We're good there. Uh, we got a new Amrita memory character directory. Definitely gonna be for Shigazane. Or Shigazane. Yeah, I said it right. Ah, what am I doing here? There we go. Shigazane's helmet featured a centipede on the front, indicating his willingness to always proceed forward, no matter what the circumstances. Known as the brave Shigazane, he participated in numerous battles and never showed the slightest hint of fear causing him and the brilliant Kojuro to be labeled as, pillar as pillars of the Date clan. Okay, and uh, once you beat that submission and open up a uh, new submission here called Hands of the Dragon, which we'll be doing in two videos. I want to do this bovine demon first. But look at that one. Bunch of divine stuff. Alright, so we're all done here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.